Hi, I'm Frank with Rick Motec, and today we're going to take a look at the Clark Synthesis TST239 Silver Tactile Transducer. I have in front of me the Silver Tactile Transducer by Clark Synthesis. For those of you that are unfamiliar with what a tactile transducer is, it's a device that transforms sound signals into vibrations. When this transducer is solidly attached to a structure, it makes the entire structure vibrate. In our case, that structure would be a racing simulator. At Rickmotech, we use tackle transducers from Clark Synthesis in the higher end cheetah simulators and custom simulators that we build because they perform better than shakers. You see, shakers are only capable of vibrating objects at low frequencies. In contrast, a tackle transducer can reproduce most of the audible sound spectrum. This is important in a racing simulator because the body feels more than just the low frequencies. In a simulator, these transducers can help you feel gear whine, loss of traction, road vibration, and engine vibration, in addition to exhaust rumble and crashes. You see, there are actually five pathways that the human body uses to perceive sound. And the ear is just one of them. Tactile sound is able to excite the other four, and it's what makes for a more immersive experience. If you're looking for more technical information regarding tactile sound, you can download a document published by Clark Synthesis entitled Tactile Sound 101 from our website or from the Clark Synthesis website. Since it's impossible to demonstrate the sensation of tactile sound in a video, we have set up a demonstration that should help convey what a tactile transducer can do. For this demonstration, we have securely attached a Clark Synthesis tactile transducer to a section of 2x12 yellow pine and set it on rubber isolation feet. We have the transducer connected to a 90 watt amplifier and we're going to play three different audio tracks through it to show you what it can do. Before we go much further, I would like to point out that tactile effects work best when they're subtle. However, since subtlety doesn't present itself very well in a video, we're going to turn up the volume. When we start these demonstrations, you will notice that you are going to hear audio being played. Keep in mind, there are no speakers playing during these demonstrations. All the sound that you're going to hear is going to be coming from this piece of lumber. You will also notice how lower frequencies are able to rattle the board and the table it's set on. Alright, so let's begin. The first track that I'm going to play is a music track. You'll notice how many of these vibrations will be turned into sound, as well as how the lower frequencies will rattle the board. I've placed some coins on the board and a container with water to help show how intense the vibrations can get. Ready? Here we go. I feel like I just did a film for the first time. You make my light as you shine. It's me and you, baby, it's all trying. The second track we're going to play is simply a 50 Hz sine wave. This will play for short bursts only since it is not recommended to be played continuously. It can cause hearing damage and equipment damage. But here it goes.
For this final demonstration, we're going to play audio from actual iRacing gameplay. While this demonstration is running, try to imagine the sensations you would feel if you were riding a racing simulator equipped with a Clark Synthesis tactical transducer. Now that you've seen what a Clark Synthesis Tackle Transducer can do, you probably want to try out a racing simulator equipped with one for yourself. If you'd like to try out one of our Chigo Racing Simulators, contact us via our website or like us on Facebook to find out where we will be exhibiting one of our Chigo Racing Simulators next. If you've built your own sim racing setup and want to add the immersion of tackle sound, go to our website to purchase a Clark Synthesis Tackle Transducer today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and this small insight into the engineering that goes into every racing simulator we build here at Rick Motech. Thanks for watching.